Probably want it a little bit brighter than that still. We can just crank the whole brightness up. So you could you can spend all day tweaking these parameters and getting the sound just the way you want it. It's kind of a, a trumpety ensemble kind of thing, vaguely. <laughs> I mean, these synths aren't really designed to create real life sounds. It's not what they excel at. They excel at creating you know, new and different sounds and sort of you know, obviously synthetic sounds. So if that's what you're after, then you can definitely do it. Um, another example, using exactly the same oscillator setup would be a kind of a string sound. So you want to fade it in we want full sustain, we want to fade it out in the amplitude. Decay time, if we've got the sustain set to 10, then the decay time doesn't do anything because there's no drop in volume from the maximum volume at the attack to the sustain. We probably just want to sweep this filter in as well. And you could probably get away with just using the filter mod here instead of setting up a separate envelope for the filter, but yeah, it's fun to play around. It's probably a bit too much bass cutoff frequency there. So you can, it's, it's subtle, you can hear the filter coming in and going out at the start and end of the sound. Those are kind of the kinds of sounds and effects you can get with using envelope generators for modulation. Now the LFO is another kind of, of modulator. It's The LFO stands for Low Frequency Oscillator and it's exactly that. It's an oscillator but instead of being in the audio spectrum where you can hear it, it's just a modulation source and it runs at much lower frequencies. Um, and you can use this to get rhythmic variation into your sounds. So let's reset all of these back. Sustain to full. Do, 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 do. In fact, let's let's go for a different kind of sound. Let's go for a triangle here. We'll just go for a single oscillator. Maybe just a little bit of sawtooth actually. these tunings so that they're the same in this case because we're not really trying to create an ensemble effect we're just taking two waveforms and, and joining them together alrighty what we want to do here is show what the LFO can do we're going to change the, the obvious one is pitch so if we change the pitch over time effect <laughs> you can see and you've got options for waveform here as well the same option so this is just a sine wave so you can vary it up and down very quickly or very slowly um, but what we're actually going to do here so this you can do, use this to create like a vibrato effect if you use it a bit more subtly so there's no effect there but if you turn it up just a little bit even that's too much. Very, very small amount. And you want it fairly quick. Might be a bit 
too subtle still. It's probably not fast enough. So you can hear a bit of a vibrato effect there. You might want to crank it down a little bit now. But the other cool thing to do though is to use it on the filter. to get the sound getting sort of more and less bright over time. So with an appropriate cutoff frequency, appropriate amount of filter modification. I might even get rid of that the sawtooth all together and just go for the triangle. That attack time just makes all the difference. get a flute effect and just that subtle bit of filter mod modulation that's probably a bit too much compared to having no filter modulation you can see how it gives a bit of life to the sound it's not obvious necessarily how I think it can be quite subtle, but it's just that it gives you almost an impression of, you know, a, a flautist giving it a bit of a, it's not vibrato, but just brightening and, and less brightening, this, yeah, taking the brightness of the sound up and down a little bit over time. So you can use these modulations to do all sorts of different things, essentially. And so, yeah, that's modulation in a nutshell. <laughs>